so I am making I probably mentioned this in another video I'm making I was gonna do less so uh, let's just get into it because I've actually been I know you don't know because the recipes are spread out every week but sometimes I film a cluster and this was a cluster week so I filmed a lot <laughs> of videos and recipes I filmed videos the weekly ones and then I film the recipes in clusters so anyway so let's get into this so I saw a recipe online for those gondolas in a rice cooker and it had so few things like it did it had it had like so frito maybe five olives right the peas the rice tomato paste salt and pepper and I was like that's not how you make that like I know I don't make that but I know that's not how you make it so I was like you know what let me build a let me build a better you know you know build a better whatever oh ignore the sounds in the oven I'm making moho wings but I didn't film that or how to make the moho because that's directly from another channel I will try and remember to post that recipe to everyone sorry if I forget um but yeah that's been in the oven only for a little while it's it's going pretty hardcore in there which is good I'm happy um hopefully it tastes really good uh anyway um that probably won't be done by the time the rice is done the rice usually only takes 40 minutes to cook so sorry I'm clearly dragging on let's get into this so I have a quarter cup of sofrito I'm gonna use three tablespoons of olive oil one packet of sazon goya I use the one with the achote teaspoon of black pepper one can this is a 15 ounce can of those gondolas I'm draining and rinsing these teaspoon of salt I usually use the eight ounce tomato sauce with the seasoning from Goya they don't have that out here so I'm using this del fuerte tomato sauce with spices this is seven 24 ounces then adobo I'm using the last of this bottle I have two don't worry I'm using a teaspoon of that and I'm using these olives I don't have the acopoado I only have these manzanilla so I'm gonna drain these but not rinse them two cups of rice and then we'll have as much water needed to make two cups of liquid um, because rice cooker the rest one ways a rice cooker is different is that you only need equal parts of um, of rice and water well for white rice anyway I don't know about the other rices but white rice equal parts rice and water so I'm going to set up my rice cooker and then we're gonna get into it I know this angle is probably really weird but it was the best one I could get <laughs> it was the best angle I could get um so I forgot to mention that it's about six ounces of olives um and the yeah, I just drained them and so the olive oil is already in there oh, I'm not used to working on this side I'm gonna add the sofrito I don't know why it's not making noise but yeah it's on I put it on saute because it has a saute simmer function and it's hot but it's not heating up but yeah so you're gonna saute this for five minutes I had to bring the sofrito all the way back from New York I'm using every little bit I can I already drained the peas but yeah so I'm gonna let that go for five uh, five minutes and then we'll be back in five minutes and then it'll be pretty easy we just have to put everything else in and we'll be good to go so see you in five minutes Okay, it's been about five minutes. Actually, I let it go a little bit longer because it was just like, I don't know, I just wasn't really feeling <laughs> the noises it was making. I wanted it to really be sizzling for five minutes, so it's been sizzling for about five minutes. Okay, time for the rice. And what I do when I, because I have this rice thing and it has holes in the bottom, it makes it easier to like clean and stuff. You won't lose the rice in the sink, which would give you an inaccurate measurement not trying to brag but I used a little bit more than I would need so I would have a little bit of rice that was fine like that so, yeah. I just wanted to coat everything it's just so pretty um, I know one recipe used a half a cup of frito. I don't think I'd need that much but I think she also used the woman also did a whole lot like she did a lot of she didn't use adobo or anything like that so speaking of adobo I guess this is the last of this bottle. Like it's only like really hard on the bottom. I can't use any more in the garbage. So so in. Just the one pack. The pepper. One second. I'm not used to working on this side. Let me grab the teaspoon measure. Oop, I spilled oil on the floor. I like some residual olive oil. It's fine. 
I'm probably gonna, uh, I think I'm just, yep, yeah, nope, nope, it's too late, too late. <laughs> These are the teaspoon, like I said I was. Oh, you can see all of that, I just wanna make sure. Oh, let me actually wipe the teaspoon off. I think if I'd used the salt first, I wouldn't have to wipe it off because the salt is off easy. And the pepper. Only a teaspoon of salt, which you're thinking, that's all, that's only a little bit for this rice. Well, the olives that I didn't rinse, don't rinse them, are salty. The tomato sauce is salty. The um, adobo is salty. The sofrito is salty. And with the olives, really? You're gonna, you're, you're gonna go in. You're gonna get eaten. Come on, olives. Stop playing. No need to stage your resistance, olives. There we go. Get those olives in there, peeps. Yes, yes. This is all really pretty, and it hasn't even really done anything. Sorry, I'm having fun. <laughs> um, like I said, it's not gonna have the bacow on the bottom. Sorry, but it's gonna be really tasty. Then with the peas. I'm just gonna take pictures right now. Sorry, not sorry. I'm actually not. I'm not sorry about any of this. I'm taking a picture because it looks really good. Now the tomato sauce, like I said, I put the tomato sauce in this measure. I love this measuring cup. In the measuring cup, and then I topped it off with water. So it's equal amounts of rice and water, or rice and liquid. If you were using like um, chicken stock, same thing. Just equal amounts of rice and liquid when you're using a slow cooker. That's how it works. You could probably double this recipe. Yeah, you could. Because this this is on four. The, there's lines inside. So six. Yeah, four. Mine goes up to ten. So if I doubled this, this would probably be at eight. Um, yeah. But this is ready. You just, um, it, it was on saute simmer this whole time. I'm turning that off. I'm going to turn it off. And then it'll make its little thing around or keep where we go. Yep, and then I'm going to put it on white rice and close the lid. But before I close the lid, let me take a picture. Yes, my son. My baby wants... <laughs> I can't pick him up because I'm cooking. Like, I don't touch him or anything that I shouldn't be when I'm cooking. So anyway, put the lid on. Let it do its thing. And there's, like, lines here. And then eventually it'll have a timer and it'll go, timer will go down. Once it beeps, we'll come back. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm hella hype. I hope you're hella hyped too. It's the moment of truth. So, those are the mojo wings. They came out really good. Um, after I cooked them, I added some more mojo sauce to them. Like, I mixed them with mojo sauce. But, I have been as nervous as I am. Let me go the other way. Yeah, let me go on this side. And let's open this pot. Let me just make sure I get the right angle. There we go. Ooh. It looks good. Um, what I did like was that I added um, enough olives that the olives helped to keep the rice down. See me taking pics, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to mix this around. Oh, it's a little... Well, not really that moist. I think this is I'm using a spoon instead of like... There's like a... It's a spoon, but it's like a flat spoon that this came with. That I probably should use. It smells like it. I smell like a Damn. There's a little pagal. See a little is like I don't want to pick it up because I'm actually you can't tell. Oh wait. See right there? It's a little pagal. A little bit, but it's okay, that's not why I'm eating it. <laughs> Next time though, I probably add more olives because you know I love a large jar. I love olives in my rice, so it's one of my favorite things in this world. Actually, I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I went that way. Because I have a spoon right over here. Ready to taste. It just, like, it just beeped, so it might be a little too hot. I'm still going to taste it. Mm-hmm. Got him. Did a little rice going on. It's okay. My friend doesn't mind eating after me. I'm a little upset that there's little spots I have, like, on the all, But I'm going to mix this more before I eat it. Um. Mm. That was straight from the bottom. So good. So happy. I hope you try this. Hope you try all my recipes. Hope you love it. I love it. 
It was a random amount of saison. I was, I mean, not saison, uh, sofrito. I was glad with how much I put in. Good to go. I'm going to let this get a little, I'm going to mix it up more so it's more airy and not too compact. I'm very pleased. So, I'll see you in the next video, peeps.